What's this mess? Oh. There's a thermal printer. And all sorts of paper with printouts to show it works. Some of which I did, but I've never hooked it up to a computer. So that's what we're going to do today. This is the 58 millimeter thermal receipt printer. That's its operating manual. Comes with the USB cord. When's the last time you saw one of them connectors? That's been a long time. And the power. Just a little Mickey Mouse style. Well, not, no, a figure eight rather, not a Mickey Mouse. And the printer itself is right here. Just a plain black, no name printer. Thermal receipt printer. Model POS, well, that tells you what it is right there. Dash 5890C, interface USB, paper width 58 millimeter cash drawer power input and there is a USB port and a Telefonicus looking connector. Now they don't really tell you much about that and the operating manual don't tell you either. They give you a really long power cord that has to be all of about three feet long. The prongs are not punched. Plug that in. Turn on power there. The paper I have already loaded in here. Yeah, the roll is really tiny. It's just sort of unraveledy in there. So we'll pull some through, shut it, and you can tear that off. And I think if you hold the button down while turning it on, and this is an actual real live power switch. Let's see. Oh, okay, that's density. Let me try it again. I forget exactly how to do it. I think maybe when the light goes out. No, I don't select Chinese mode! Come on! If you press it, it'll feed. If you hold it, it'll do that. Let's try holding it further. You select the ch What? This isn't working. I don't want to select the Chinese. Might have to read the book. I got it to print the other day. Well, maybe that was more like a month ago. The center is under hex mode. There it is. You gotta like press, turn on, and let go. I hope it didn't fucking switch to Chinese now. Shit. So I gotta see how to reset this, but uh. You saw a Chinese mode! Okay, go for you. So let me see about resetting this and we'll hook it up to the computer. It's gaudy blue and red LEDs, LEDs, pardon me. Okay, I got it. It's back in ASCII mode. Then I selected the densities, which actually makes it feed the paper slower. You can see it's not quite that well printed there. Although the rest of the text is perfectly fine. And even on... Density 1, it's perfect. So the book says absolutely nothing. It says, see this printer, I'll tell you the story with this. I, I just, you know, I was looking for a new toy. And this came up in uh, my mind. And I said, yeah, let me look. So I found one on eBay. Some guy was selling it, brand new. That I found China to you. 20 bucks, great. Order it, wait the month and a half. Fucking thing never shows up. So I go back on eBay and I play the game and they said, okay, no problem. And they refunded me my money. So now I'm looking for, or, you know, a replacement. 
Well, the one I want now went from 20 bucks to like 50 bucks. It had uh, Bluetooth built in and all kinds of other Chinesery that you don't need. Uh, this printer is supposed to be available in different ports in that. You're supposed to be able to get a serial version and a parallel port version if you wanted. And somehow it interfaces with a cash drawer that you'll never find the cable. And God forbid the manual would tell you the specifications for that. That just won't happen. So it prints on paper that is 58 millimeters wide. How wide is that? Well, um, a little wider than two inches. So there you go. It's time to hook this up to the computer. So let's uh, go and do that. This one doesn't even have Bluetooth, by the way, because, of course, you know, just my luck. So anyway, let's get this hooked up and see what happens. The all-important receipt printer, driver, and user manual. This is the machine that is going to replace my digital picture frame machine. It's currently... Well, that was a cool sound, wasn't it? Let's try that again. I don't know who actually manufactures this drive, but uh, that was a really cool sound. Let's try that again. So, uh, anyway, this is that HP machine that is going to be replacing the digital picture frame. Uh, you're seeing this after that series, or maybe before, depending on when I release it. But this machine is currently in progress as it stands right now. Everything is all set and ready to go for the OS to be reinstalled. And that's it. It's got a little dust on it. And uh, we're ready to go. So it's come up. This is whatever load of uh, XP this had on it. We'll go ahead and click OK to open that. Linux, manual, SDK, tools, printer driver, software, and a whole bunch of PDFs, and apparently I don't have anything on there. Let's see what tool says. Let's see what happens if I try to launch that. Oh! Interesting. So, look at that. Print test, open cash box, cut paper. Cut paper? This doesn't have a fucking cutter. Come on. Well, anyway, we need the Durver. So, printer Durver software. It's that. So, I don't know if they want you to hook it up first or what. This machine only has USB 1. We'll click next, we'll accept, we'll click next, we'll click next. It's going in the piece of shit printer, driver, version, whatever folder. So that looks good to me. Select operating system, select operating system Y. Fifty-eight. I guess it's gonna be USB all one and you can't set anything else. Begin setup? What's that going to do? Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, let's just let this do its thing. I love it. Oh, there's the CD siren. It says wait. Says file progress. What an interesting sound that drive makes. I wonder if it's having trouble reading the disc. Well, anyway, I'm going to let this do its thing because it looks like it wants to. No, it's going now. This is why I wanted to do this while the machine uh, has an OS that I'm prepared to blow up, basically. So. There. Allegedly it's installed, although I never did plug the printer in. So let's go ahead and plug it into the one USB port that this has on the back. Let's see where it is. Uh, and of course it goes the other way. Okay, it's plugged. I found it. 
USB printing support. It's ready. Uh, I know that there is no chance that this is going to work, but we'll just hit it just for fun. Holy fuck, it actually worked, and it's eating up all of my goddamn paper. Wow. Well, uh... Congrats. Congrats. If you can read this informa... Okay, so it, it didn't print quite right, but it printed the graphic right. So, that worked. And now I'm going to play around with this and try to get the settings changed or something. So I just changed the density settings. This is density 4, this is density 1, and there is a slight difference. It, it certainly is a bit... You know, it, it's close, but it's not quite the same. So it doesn't seem to make much of a difference. You can do a USB port check and it will print that information to it. Um, we'll hit the begin setup bit again. Let's see if that does anything. I think that was a bad thing to do. We're just going to stop that and cancel it. That doesn't want to close, which is wonderful. And now <laughs> I made another one, which is closing out. This is, like I said, why I don't care about blowing this operating system up. So now it has that. So let's see if we could just correct that quickly. This is turning out to really be so Chinese, it's angering me at this point. And now we'll set as default, and that's good. And I copied the CD to the machine uh, tools. We'll run that one again, and let's see. Allegedly, oh, it also has network connectivity that you'll never get. Also, because you know you'd end up paying you know 150 bucks for that. If you want that uh, print test maybe I printed a test open cash box open cash box no cash for you cut paper right yeah let's see yep nothing it doesn't have that one check status um, check status. Please, please select a serial port. It doesn't let me select a serial port. Okay. So that's fun. Great. Okay, so that did nothing for us. And the, the paper, it says 58 by 3276 millimeter. Well, it certainly is telling it it's 58 millimeters wide. So the only other thing I can think to do is to try to print an image. So let me get one on here and we'll see what we can do. So let's try printing the IBM PC Junior startup screen. We'll hit print. We'll hit next. Just that one. That's the one I want. Yes, correct. Everything's good. There's nothing to change because your paper is automatically select or manual. Advanced copies and half toning. You know, I can try changing that if need be, but there's nothing else to change there. And now it's going to ask how I want it. another reason why I don't mind blowing up this operating system. I don't know what in the hell it's thinking it's doing. There we go. 
full page fax print um, will look like that. I, I don't think that's going to work. Full page photo print. That doesn't look right either. Uh, hmm. Well, uh, I guess we'll just try. Let's try that and see what the hell happens. We'll hit next. It says it's printing. And it's going to use up all of my paper. Yes. Yay. It used up all of my paper. Or it misfed. Okay, that, that's not working. <laughs> well, um, the answer is no. That's, well, it, it tried. You see, it gave, it gave something. I don't know what in the hell it's supposed to be. So we'll try the 210, but I got to put in some, some more paper. That's a nice little tube for something. That's what was in that envelope. Damn good thing I ordered some. I just burned through a whole roll between all that testing and crap. Well, from the first test I did, and let's put this in now. Uh, I think if I could just peel it, yeah. Then you sort of drop it in, put the paper like that. Wait, I want to shut it and cancel the print job before it wastes all of my paper. Okay. And now we should be good. It's a little crooked. Alright, it straightens itself. Yay! Look at all the waste of paper. I love it. Alright, we're going to try it again this time. Set to 58 by 210. Hit OK. Hit OK. Hit Next. Ah! Much better. Yeah, so that's what we did want. And we'll hit next and see our IBM logo. Oh, that looks just friggin' peachy right there, doesn't it? That's, uh, yeah, that's great print quality. Well, maybe just in case the paper where it was glued, we'll print it one more time. And then I'll set it to the lower density, maybe. Although that takes time. Uh, I didn't set it as default, so I gotta change it again. 210, okay, okay, next. That's what I want. We'll click next. Same thing. Alright, let me change the density and see. Okay, it's now on density 4, and we'll try again. Oh, that's quality right there. I love it. Well, that's fun. I guess it didn't make much difference. But we'll leave it on the higher density for now. Here's another useless print job. Color Sphere HP Toners. But it is sort of a wide, narrow thing like that. Wide, narrow? <laughs> Something like that. So anyway, it works sort of. And as far as actually getting it to print text, uh, gee, what will happen if you do that? Let's install a generic text-only driver on USB 001. Let's see if... Uh, okay, the mouse is not moving anymore. And the system seems to be locked up. And the hard drive is on solid. Well, that's not supposed to be happening. I don't know why that is. I think it's time to hit the big switch. That's not supposed to be happening. Every old diagnostics on this checked out. Maybe it's a Chinese software. Who knows? All right, I'll let this boot up again. Before we do that, let's try something else. We'll go to Properties, and uh, is it under Device Settings, there's the paper, yes, by 210, or not available. I wonder what would happen if you hit that. That's interesting. So I set it back to that 210, and let's do the print test page again. Same thing. 
Wonderful. Okay, that was again density 4. So that didn't seem to make much difference as far as the test page. Um, we have a generic text only already. So we'll try to change the port to USB 001. That one. We'll hit OK. I don't even know what the hell is going to happen this time. Let's see what happens. It theoretically should take it. Ah, much better. Now it fucking prints shit. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. Yeah, it wraps. Just like it's supposed to. So, printer, test page, congratulations if you read this information. Okay. So, anyway, that's it. Just a total little turd of a printer. And the good news is that I can send ASCII text to it just by a generic text only driver. So, what do we have? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 characters across. So, figure 30 for good measure. Uh, yeah, it's there. It kind of works Chinesely, but it's there. And allegedly it can print special Chinese character for you. You saw a Chinese mold! You saw a Chinese mold! Uh, I don't know. A little disappointed in the toy, but it is a type of printer I did not have on the network, so now I have one. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And oh, that was a waste of money.